Hello viewers, welcome back to Mom and Jess Moment Talk Show. So we are going to treat one very sensitive topic or episode in the marital series. You know, it's referred to as trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We are actually going to be focusing on, um, you know, what couples are going through. Couples that are still waiting on God for the fruit of the womb. And then, you know, probably shed more light on advices and likely steps they could take while they are still waiting on god so i would like to start by uh, reminding all couples you know that are uh, that could relate to this situation you know that as much as we find this a very sensitive topic uh, but there's a reason for everything there is a reason for that waiting some people might be waiting on god for a spouse some for a job some for every any other thing in their life you know but for couples that are waiting on God for the fruit of the womb, it's important that they trust God's will. They trust the will of God for their lives. You know, I believe that uh, nothing happens by mistake. Everyone has been, everyone's life has been predestined even before they were born. You know, if we look back at Bible characters, say the likes of Abraham and Sarah, Hannah, Elk and Elkanah, you know, and um, I think there are quite a number of them. In the scriptures and if, if we can look back everything that has been recorded in the scripture is plain itself each and every individual existing on earth today is playing a role or, or can relate to a role of one or two or three or four people in the bible so it's like a repetition of everything that has been happening there ought to be some people that will go through abraham's circumstance others will go through what david went through others will go through what joshua went through so there's one person or two that every person will relate to in the bible so i'm um, um, i'm just addressing couples that i i understand are you know faced with this situation not to give up on themselves not to give up on god because i trust that god has them at the palm of their hands just like any other person and he hears he knows their heart desires it is stated in statistics there are over 70 to 80 million couples in the world you know that are still waiting and trusting god for the fruit of the womb and we've heard of several testimonies in fact countless of people that have waited 20 25 years and still god proved himself faithful well so I, i'm i'm here to just encourage you i don't know how long you have waited probably five four three six ten you know and you get those times where you cry especially i know with the ladies you know you shed tears you soak your pillows with tears my sister or even my brother watching please um don't give up on god just hold on to him i implore you that you know god has everyone as i said earlier every god has has ordained or predestined a plan for each and every one of us and sometimes i could even say that it's part of it could be part of the purpose for you testing your 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 god could be, could be a way of god testing your faith you know seeing and proving and just for you to, for for you to prove just the way you know faith um, um abraham you know waited on god and i understand that every human if you get to a point where your faith has never been shaken uh brethren it means you are not human because as a human being no matter who you are even as a strong believer i be, I, I strongly believe that there is a time where your faith will be shaking to a point that you get to a point where you actually even start doubting the promises of God or God's spoken words. You know, I can relate to this situation in several cases, even with waiting on God for the fruit of the womb. There was a point that I, I, I waited and, I, you know, the pregnancy were coming quite all right, but I, I kept having miscarriages, you know, and God still proved himself faithful. Though one thing could be time limits. Mine, you know, God proved himself faithful in within a short space of time. Yours could be a longer duration for only God knows the reason why. You know, so as I've said, it's not like he, he prefers some people to the other. They said God's timing is not our timing. Everything that happens to our, our, our lives or every circumstance we find ourselves is not a mistake. It's still part of God's purpose in our life. So just to share with the couples in um, you know um, addressing with regards to this topic I just want to encourage you all to be patient with with God and you know trust uh, the word of God 
have faith i understand that sometimes it could be very sensitive when you meet other couples that are having children and they pass statements that probably they might not even have meant any um, they might not have meant it in in a way to make you feel bad but you go home feeling you know you take it very sensitively and all of that you know so um, i pray that god will help you to be able to overcome such kind of situations and also i believe that couples should support themselves there should be no blame game First of all, if you have waited a couple of years and you see that it's not forthcoming, probably a year or a year and a half, it's good to go for checkup, go for medical checkup to be sure that you know everything is fine. If if there are issues that comes up, then you follow up with the medical experts on options that could go probably IVF and the likes. And then I also like to say that adoption is is not is not bad at all. You know, adoption is not bad at all. It could be an opportunity God is giving you to raise. A child somewhere and you know plant let 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 that child you know grow in your home and it will just be part of your purpose to you know adopt a child and make an impact in the in the life of that child you know regardless so there could be different reasons and before I, I believe that before you go or take um, take any step like with the adoption process wait on God prayerfully seek the face of God you know with regards to any decision you wish to take if it's the IVF, the same thing, you know. So I believe that, you know, so many have done the IVF and they came out successfully. So I believe that every step you wish to take with regards to this case, you should follow it up prayerfully and then still stand on the, on the promises of God. God's words are not failing. His words are true. And I believe that just the way he did it for Abraham, regardless of time, he will still do it for you. Even Abraham, at a point in time, his wife Sarah's faith was shaking. And that's why at a point she had to employ, you know, her, her maid to go in, in with um, Abraham. I believe that Abraham's faith too was shaken because if it wasn't, he would have rejected that offer. So you see people that are even, <laughs> people that God held with high esteem, you know, at some point in time, their faith was shaken. So I can, I, I, I can relate to any couple that has waited so long and is still trusting God, but, but I believe that God has a plan. So I will end it by saying that whatever purpose that God has ordained for you, you can, you know, don't get depressed or get anxious or stressed over this whole situation. Find something doing to keep life going and then seek the face of God with direction on what step to take, whether surrogacy, IVF or adoption. Well, I'd love to stop here until we meet with uh, the lovely couple that will do justice to this topic. So until then, see you next time. Please remember to subscribe to our channel for subsequent episodes. Bye.